What is up guys, Taiki here, and in this video I'll discuss how to be a liquidity provider on SushiSwap with only $500 using the Matic ecosystem. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. None of this is financial advice, so let's get started. So this will be the overview of the video, how do AMMs and decentralized exchanges work? What does it mean to be an LP, a liquidity provider? And lastly, what will be like what what is impermanence loss? A complicated topic, and I'm sure many of you have questions. And then I'll wrap up the video with uh, a t quick tutorial on how to be a stablecoin liquidity pr liquidity provider on SushiSwap. All right, so how do AMMs and decentralized exchanges work? So the biggest decentralized exchange that we all know and love is Uniswap, right? Where you can essentially take one asset and but and swap it for a different asset. But how does this work on the back end? An analogy I like to use is thinking of these liquidity pools as fish pools, right? And these fish pools are LP pools where there's a 50-50 ratio of two assets um, in equal dollar amounts, right? So there's the same amount of ETH and the same amount of USDC. And if you want to buy ETH with USDC, you essentially throw USDC into the pool and pull out ETH on the other side. And this is only possible because there are liquidity providers all around the world providing liquidity for this particular pool. In this example, um, this is a little outdated screenshot, but at the date at the date when I took the screenshot, there was two hundred fifty million dollars worth of liquidity into in, in this pool, right? But think if you think about it, like who is providing the, the liquidity and what are their incentives? Well, the incentive is that liquidity providers earn a 0.3% fee on all trades provided uh, on this particular liquidity pool. So you, as you can see here, um, in the past 24 hours, this pool has generated over $200,000 in fees. All right, so let, let's say I'm a whale and I have $25 million worth of liquidity that I provide into this particular pool. Well, because the total liquidity is 250 million, I own roughly 10% of the pool. So that means I'm entitled to 10% of the fees. So if I had $25 million and I provide liquidity, then I would earn $21,000 of fees in the last 24 hours, right? So that, that's how that, that's kind of how it works. But it sounds like free money, so, but are there any downsides, right? Uh, yes, there's always downside. Uh, there's no such thing as a free lunch. And the downside is that this, there's this thing called impermanence loss. And this is the definition of, of impermanence loss where when you provide liquidity, you underperform in dollar amounts to just holding the token. Uh, but here's an example to like, it, the, the definition itself is kind of hard to get your mind across. So here's an example of how this actually works. So let's say, you know, in the same USDC ETH pool, and let's say the price of ETH is at $1,000 and the price of USDC, USDC is a dollar, obviously. And I want to be a liquidity provider. And so I will, I need to provide an equal amount of two assets, right? So one ETH and $1,000 of USDC. To simplify things, let's say after I, pro I provide liquidity, there's 10 ETH and 10,000 USDC into this pool, meaning I'm entitled to 10% of the fees because I own 10% of the pool, right? But let's say ETH moons, right? It goes up 4X. So now ETH is trading at $4,000. Uh, in that case, 10 ETH is now more is is now worth more than 10,000 USDC, right? And also remember that there has to be an equal amount of two assets on both sides. And now that ETH has mooned, the pool has to sell some ETH and buy more USDC and meet in the middle where there's an equilibrium, where there's a 50-50 ratio of both assets. Uh, in this case, so it, yeah, it has to rebalance to uh, less ETH and more USDC. And in this case, the ratio has to be equal. So it's going to be 5 ETH and 20,000 USD, USDC into the liquidity pool, right? And so, you know, you hold ETH, you're happy. But if you think about it, like when you pull out your 10%, right? Like because you're entitled to 10% of the fees and you own 10% of the pool, I'm only going to pull out 0.5 ETH and 2,000 USDC, right? So I'm going to pull out uh, less ETH, right? And more USDC. So with liquidity pools, you always own more assets that underperform because you're going to sell the asset that overperformed and then meet in the equilibrium. Okay, so if you do the math, if I just held one ETH and a thousand USDC and I did not provide li li provide liquidity, then I would have five thousand dollars. But because I provide liquidity, I now only have four thousand dollars, right? Because half an ETH and two thousand USDC. And obviously, like in whatever time period this was, like I would also earn 0.3% of all transaction fees, right? So hopefully uh, within that time period, like I earned more than $1,000 in fees to make up for this impermanence loss. But this is how, imper this is how impermanence loss works, right? Uh, 
I, if I just held, I would have 5k, but now I only have 4k. So this is a 20% impermanence loss. And this is like a quick uh, diagram of like how much impermanence loss you would incur, uh, depending on how much, uh, how, how much like it, how much price movement one asset makes uh, relative to the other asset. Okay, so to wrap it up, to wrap this up, you know, pairing two different assets, right? Pairing two assets that move differently in terms of price will always cause some form of impermanence loss. And the goal is that the fees will make up for it. And also like if you pair two of the same assets, right? So USDC and USDT, right? Two stable coins, you would essentially have zero impermanence loss because there's like literally no price price movement. So you would just get all the fees that uh, that a particular pair uh, will generate. And yeah, if, if you're exposed to impermanence loss, you hope that the fees and the rewards will make up for it. If not, then you just lose money out, right? Okay, that being said, to simplify things, I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to earn 25% uh, yield on SushiSwap by just being an LP for the USDC in Dive pool with only $500. So let's get into it. Okay, so now I'm gonna assume that you have funds bridged over to the Matic ecosystem. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, there's many resources out there and I'm not gonna waste your time uh, on how to bridge assets uh, to Polygon in this video. So let's get into how to be an LP. So as you can see, I have 500 USDC and I want to provide liquidity on the USDC die pool on SushiSwap. Uh, as you can see right now, this pool is giving me around 27% in APY, right? So that's uh, yield I'm generating on my dollars. And so I click on this and I go to add liquidity. And like I mentioned, uh, I have 500 USDC, but no DAI. So I need to essentially take half of that and like buy DAI with it. So you can go to QuickSwap, you can go to Sushi, but um, I can just essentially take USDC and swap it for DAI. So I need to approve this transaction, uh, essentially giving the smart contract approval to spend my USDC tokens, right? And as you can see, like, it's not like a one direct to one to one uh, exchange rate. There's like a tiny, um, tiny discrepancy, but you know, th this is natural for uh, any US, any like stablecoin swap. There's going to be a little bit of slippage, and it's because like USD is like one one point zero 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 one cent, and DAI might be like point nine 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 five cents. So there's always a difference. But you know, I'm just going to make the swap here, right? And Matic is great because these transactions are essentially free. Um, I don't know if you see my Matic balance, but uh, my Matic balance is 0 0.001. And like, I, I think I can do up to a thousand transactions doing it. And if you don't have any Matic in your wallet, what you can do is you can go to this website called matic.supply, where uh, you can essentially, it's like a faucet. Right? You can up to three times a day, you can earn 0 0.001 Matic, which can let you do roughly a hundred basic transactions. So. You know, it's really appealing for you know retail clubs like me uh, that can't afford like fifty dollars transaction fees on Ethereum. So let's see if that went through. Okay, so now I have two fifty USDC and this much Dai. So now I can go to USDC. I'm sorry, I can go to Sushi Swap and provide liquidity. Okay, so it's just up, it's just updated. So yeah, I can provide this much Dai. It's not like like super equal, but uh, it's how it works. So, so I mean. Now I have to give the smart contract permission to spend my USDC, and then I have to spend give the smart contract permission to spend my DAI, and then after that I can uh, provide liquidity. So uh, let, let me just skip to that portion of the video. All right, so now I've given permission for the smart contract to spend both my USDC and DAI. Uh, now all I have to do is to confirm adding liquidity. So I'm just gonna confirm this, and all this all this takes uh, Matic, right? The Matic token to uh, essentially run these smart contracts, but because Matic is like, like one of the best scaling solutions out there for Ethereum, uh, you know, this is really, really easy. Okay, so I added to, uh, I, uh, I, I think I already provided liquidity, right? So let's go into the yield tab again and see whether I can uh, submit my LP pools. Okay, so to earn a yield, right? So I already provide liquidity, so I'm entitled to the, the, all the swap fees that uh, SushiSwap generates but I need to essentially stake my LP tokens, right? So the, these LP tokens are like, it's, 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 like, it's like proof that I'm providing, like, providing liquidity. So I'm just gonna approve these smart contracts again. I have to provide all, I have to, I have, I have, I have to like sign all these transactions. Uh, but thankfully, uh, Matic is really, really cheap to use. So let's just wait for that. All right. 
but after essentially after this um, after i approve it i can add liquidity and then i'm entitled to the 27 percent annualized in fees and the reason these yields are so high is because sushi swap and polygon have this partnership uh, where there's liquidity rewards where they're essentially giving away sushi and matic tokens for people to use uh, use the ecosystem right and these like with Aave and the, all these uh, applications on Polygon, uh, there are all these liquidity mining uh, incentives. Uh, so they're essentially paying you to use the platform. Uh, okay, so okay, so now that I approved it, I can just stake my LP tokens, right? And after I've done so, I earn 27%, right? And it's gonna pay me in, so first it'll pay me the swap fees in USDC and DAI, right? So I'll be earning dollars, uh, just being a market maker. And on top of that, I'm earning Sushi and Matic rewards. So uh, this is like a good way, like if you're bullish sushi, if you're bullish Matic, uh, and you don't want to take on the risk of just like using your own money to buy these things, you can just take a very, very low risk LP pool with zero risk and permanence loss in the stable coin pool, right? USDC die. And every day, every day, I'll be earning uh, sushi and Matic. So as you can see, I'm already earning this much. I mean, this is like nothing, right? But think about it, like over many days, over many weeks, if you're working a full-time job and you want to generate yield on your dollars, you're you're bullish crypto, you like crypto, but you don't really want to be like, you know, all in crypto. Well, maybe you can allocate 20% of your portfolio into stable coins and farm Sushi and Matic with it by just being an LP. Uh, so hopefully this video was useful. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments uh, what you thought of this and what other tutorials you might want me to do. Uh, I guess if you're like a tiny account, like with $500, like you really cannot use Ethereum just because the transaction fees are like $50. And you saw how many uh, smart contract approvals, like signings and approvals that I've did. Like if you have $500, like all your money is gonna be gone uh, just by approving these smart contracts. But with Matic, because the transaction fees are so cheap and because you know you can get earn free Matic through this uh, faucet, uh, it really makes uh, DeFi more fun. And uh, I guess more, I guess, What's the word? I forget the word, but you know, it, it, it makes DeFi usable again. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and see you out there farming.